na imbag nga oras, Ilocos. Welcome sa show kung saan tumatala kay sa ating kalusugan. Ito ang Cure. Dito maliliwanagan tayo sa mga iba't ibang sakit o karamdaman. Ating tatalakayan ng mga simptomas nito at kung paano sosolusyonan at iiwasan ang mga sakit na ito. Samahan niyo ako sa 30 minutong diskusyon tungkol sa pangangalaga ng ating kalusugan. Ngayong araw na ito, ako po ang makakasama ninyo para sa pagtatanong natin sa mga resident doctors natin dito. And of course, it's a great pleasure and privilege to introduce to you ang tatlong resident doctors po natin. Our first doctor is a surgeon and holds his clinic at St. James Hospital. Please welcome on the show, Dr. Dennis Rivas. Hello, Del. Good morning, Doc. Our next doctor is a pediatrician in Dasher Clinic at Gabriela Silang General Hospital and as well as in her residence at Liberation Boulevard, Vegan City. Please welcome the very lovely Dr. Blandina Suarez. Good morning, Doc. <laughs> Okay, our last doctor is a neurologist at St. James Hospital and Metro Vegan Hospital. Please welcome Ang Kilabot, the heart rub in the field of medicine, Dr. Elton Ong. Good morning, Doc. Ayan, welcome sa ating episode for today. And of course, uh, I'm so lucky again to be with you. Same here. <laughs> okay, batin muna natin ang mga televiewers natin, Doc. Yeah, we would like to greet the viewers of uh, Cure and uh, uh, everyone out there. Uh, nice day. Have a nice day. Dr. Blendina. Good morning, everybody. Um, <laughs> we hope we can impart something uh, with regards to uh, this show. Topic. Okay. You really look fabulous today, Doctora. Really? <laughs> As always. As always. <laughs> oh, oh, no, fashionista. And of course, Doctor Ong. Uh, magandang araw. So, yun lang. <laughs> mga fans mo do. Balita ko, dami na trending ka daw sa ano eh. <laughs> sa Facebook at sa, sa YouTube kasi nagwagwapuan sila kay Doctor Ong wow. talaga. Oo, oh, di ba? Marami ng five, fans. Five followers. Oh. <laughs> at ngayon mga kaibigan, pag-uusapan po natin ang appendicitis. So, Dr. Dennis, ano po ba ang appendicitis po? Uh, in the strict sense, acute appendicitis is the uh, inflammation of the appendix. no? And the appendix is a vestigial organ which is located uh, in the cecum, that is the tip of our large intestines on the right side of our, ab yeah, of our abdomen. And uh, uh, during childhood, no, er during the fetal stage and early childhood, it is uh, used as a lymphoid organ. And once we grow out, uh, we grow up and uh, reach our 30s or 40s, it becomes already rudimentary. In other words, it's just an organ there that's not functioning anymore. I see. Yeah. Uh, paano po natin ito nakukuha, Doc? Uh, since uh, it is the inflammation of the uh, appendix, any uh, infection that would cause inflammation of the appendix uh, is defined as acute appendicitis. And uh, there is no particular cause that would uh, trigger the infection but uh, it has been said that uh, it is caused by fecalith nagkakaroon ang pathophysiology kasi ng appendicitis is nagkakaroon ng bara yung lumen yung butas ng appendix and then once there is obstruction there is inflammation there is the signs of inflammation already and that causes the pain on the abdomen so, paano po ba or gaano po ba ito kaseryoso, Dok, itong sakit na ito? It is serious, uh, Del. No? Uh, actually, appendicitis is the uh, uh, most common, one of the most common causes of abdominal pain in the adult and in the uh, early uh, teen stage. I would like also to, uh, to clarify that uh, acute appendicitis occurs at the teen age group and early early 20s but not specifically it does not mean that uh, no uh, the age the elder age group and the young age group does not uh, will not have appendicitis so parang it's very common in the 
uh, yung yung what do you call this yung teen stage My and teenagers yes po. and early 20s yes doc you have something Kasi when i was growing up you know we were told by our parents na hindi ka pwedeng kumain ng mga santol Kasi yung mga buto daw ng bayabas or santol, pwede daw mag-cause nung obstruction dun sa That's true. That's true. that would lead yes. to appendicitis. Yes. Is that, that true? Yes, that is true. Yes, that ah. is true. And uh, after a meal, syempre, yung mga hindi nadadigest yung mga hard uh, seeds. No? And they can fall into that lo- that that, that uh, lumen, that uh, yung butas na yun, so which, which can cause obstruction and later on appendicitis. So better not to eat yung mga... Not really. I, can, I do not advise that you do not eat. But uh-huh. uh, you, you belong to the... the high risk group if mahilig ka sa santo uh, bayabas kamatis <laughs> bakit ay nawala kamatis ara ara yunuk ko siya pero hindi yun talaga ang cause that is not the the main cause, the main cause of appendicitis anybody can have it yes Dr. what about uh, playing right after eating exactly that's uh, that's what uh, you said that any hard object that could cause those uh, obstruction in the appendix could so the go. the food you eat can go in there yes of course of course ah, so kung kumain ka ng bayabas tas nagjogging ka pa after noon mas malaki yung chance na magkaroon ng appendicitis <laughs> ano ba naman tayo mas yung risk ano ba naman tayo yun ang pinag- mga myths ang pinag-uusapan <laughs> kasi nagkakaroon ng improper indigestion ng mga pagkain natin yes it is it can be a cause okay so yeah. ano po yung mga symptoms po na nakikita natin to uh, para ma-determine na may appendicitis okay since I said earlier it's uh, one of the most common causes of abdominal pain in that age group no And uh, first and foremost, we have uh, a so-called uh, uh, signs and symptoms that would present as uh, appendicitis. Now, first is you have anorexia. Anorexia is uh, poor in loss of appetite to eat. And then you will have, uh, uh, it's more of a epigastric or peri-umbilical pain at first. And then you will start... Uh, vomiting, you get nauseated, and then vomiting. Those signs are uh, indicative of acute appendicitis. But it's not always the case. So, Doc Nonit, so bali, uh, when you eat bayabas, tapos pagkatapos nung nagjag ka, so mas malaki yung chance mo na magkaroon ng appendicitis, parang ganun? Uh, yes, yes. Because as we know that uh, the uh, pathophysiology of uh, appendicitis is the obstruction of the lumen of the appendix. Anything hard Anything that would cause obstruction can lead to acute appendicitis later on. Saka nagkakaroon ng improper digestion sa mga ini-intake natin. That's true. Pagkain. That's true. Okay. Qu- follow-up question lang, Doc. Kanina kasi nasabi mo sa amin na um, prone yung sakit na ito sa mga early 20s. Uh, bakit po, Doc, na nasabi niya? Uh, because I said earlier that appendix, when we were still a baby or inside the uterus, Uh, it serves as a lymphoid uh, tissue and the lumen is quite large at the early age group but when we develop it becomes smaller so the smaller it gets at, uh, at the age of uh, 13 14 mas maliit yung butas mas madaling mabara, mabara. yeah Okay po mga kaibigan, pansamantala po muna natin puputulin na ating diskusyon. So, dyan lamang po kayo mga kaibigan. Here we'll be right back. 